Welcome to Fake School Fashion. I'm Old Roy. Got a group of students here who are going to give us the latest scoop on this season's fashions. So, I got a group of fashion students here. Why don't you tell us a little bit about yourselves? Well, I'm Lauren. And I'm Daryl. And we're both second year fashion merchandising students here at Fanshawe. We'll be graduating this year in April. Can you tell us about this particular project you've been working on? Um, so what it is, every semester um, starting first year we had to do a freelance, which is some sort of visual display, whether it's like event promoting, um, a window display at another location besides the classroom, just to get retail and industry experience not only at school, um, like some people do it at the bookstore, like us today we're here. Doing okay, before we get started about your fashion collection in particular, can you tell us why it's important for students to gain like industry experience? So what sort of jobs can you anticipate getting in the future with this education behind you? So we've learned what's hot this season, but what is not hot this season? Fashion faux pas. Socks and sandals. <laughs> Socks and sandals is always a, a very bad choice. Um, too matchy-matchy. That, that can actually get very, um, you can get lost. So you're talking like denim on denim, the Canadian tuxedo is a big no-no? Um, denim on denim is all right in circum circumstances, certain circumstances. Um, but I mean like if you have like a red shirt, red hat, red shoes, gotcha. that's, that just necessarily doesn't look the greatest. Daryl and Lauren have prepared a sample collection for us and are going to explain it piece by piece. So guys, tell us a little bit about your collection over here. Okay, so first we're going to start with one of the most popular um, trends for the fall 2010 and winter season. So the first popular um, fall trend that we have for this year is the military trend. It works for both men and women. It's very Army, Aviator, Navy inspired. So the Army... Can you tell us a little bit more about why the lingerie-esque look is appropriate? I think people are getting a little more daring now than they used to. Uh, before people were very traditional in the way they dressed and now is, fashion is looked at as more as a uh, personal style. And so we see more people wearing just tights compared to something over top of tights and that's also considered um, lingerie as an outerwear. Well, I just wanted to thank you guys for coming and sharing uh, this season's fashion tips with us. I know I'm a little bit more educated. I'm going to go get me some uh, army after this, maybe some fur too. This has been another episode of Fanshawe Fashion. Stay tuned to see what's hot and what's not next time.